And I'll be cooking a few recipes from this book. And the first recipe is chicken cooked with beautiful, uh, we have some flaky coconut here with the coconut sauce. And the second dish is beans. But before we do anything else, we'll start with cheese, which is paneer. And paneer is similar to bocconcini. It's like a soft mozzarella, and it's so easy and quick to make, and it's so healthy. So here I have milk boiling. You can have 2% milk or homo milk, whatever milk you prefer. And when it does, just turn it down a little bit to medium heat and add some vinegar. So if one liter of milk you have, so maybe um, one quarter cup of vinegar, that's perfectly fine. And immediately sure. it's separate. So we have cheese ready, that's simple. And you need a cheesecloth. I can never have a cheesecloth in my house because my son, who's seven years old, he thinks a cheesecloth is a spider web. So I can't have a cheesecloth in my house. So I have just a regular dish cloth. So for that, I need a strainer with the holes. And we'll put the cheesecloth on top. And I need another container because I want all the water to come down and only uh, the cheese material, the cheese kind of stuff sitting right here. So I'm gonna put this in and let's strain it. And cheese is right here, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? So easy to make. And now, I have to put something really heavy on it to just make sure all the water drains. So sometimes I use a um, can of tomatoes, and if you have a jug of rice or a jug of um, any kind of container um, you can use. So let me see what I have in my kitchen. Here I have flour in this container. So I'm gonna use that. And for 15, 20 minutes, let it sit, and all the cheese is gonna form together. And while this is being cooked, we will make our chicken. And this dish is so easy and quick to make, and the flavors are absolutely wonderful. And for that, I'm just gonna have a regular pan. You can have cast iron pan. This works perfectly fine. And I'm going to add on medium to high heat, and I'm gonna add some grapeseed oil. I love grapeseed oil because you can cook on a high smoke point, and it doesn't have any flavor, and it's really good for your health. But you can use olive oil if you have at home or any kind of vegetable oil is perfectly fine. And I'm just gonna add some ginger. I love ginger, great health benefits and it has a really nice bite to it. If you don't like ginger, use ginger. If you don't like the bite of ginger, ginger powder is perfectly fine. So I'm gonna have some ginger. And one of the things is so funny, I can, I can never remember the measurements. I can't say one tablespoon or two tablespoon. If I feel like lots of ginger, so today, Lots of ginger is going to go in this one. So it's beginning to cook. And heat he is medium to high. Now I'm going to add some. I love coriander seeds. So if you don't like the bite of coriander seed, it's a really nice earthy flavor. If you don't like it, you can have coriander powder. So for this, this is my favorite part. I take it in my hands. If you don't like to use your hands, mortar pestle is perfectly fine. And here I like to take my hands and I crush it in my hands. And not long ago I got to have, I had this, uh, I was doing this with my son. He loved it so much. So now my son helps me every time I'm crushing any kind of seeds in my hands. He wants to come and help me. So here it's cooking 10 seconds. I'm going to add some garam masala. Garam masala is a bunch of spices cooked together to there to bring the heat to low. So for garam masala, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, clove, bay leaves, curry leaves, whatever you have in your pantry. And that's kind of, put it all together, um, cook it. Um, I just cook it on a regular pan for 10 to 15 seconds, and then let it cool. And then I use coffee grinder to make my garam masala. So here I have my homemade garam masala, so easy to make. Tablespoon of that, I'm sure that's a tablespoon. And cardamom powder, very, very nice flavors, very sweet flavors, I love cardamom. And some salt. And this kitchen is already filled with such beautiful aromatic flavors. You would want to be here right now. So here's some, I have um, coconut flakes, they're dry, just got it from package. Just gonna mix it. And I like to use 
tomato paste because tomato paste gives a really nice tangy flavor to the food and it gives a really nice, beautiful, rich, beautiful burgundy, like a red color. I love that. So I'm just gonna add some of the tomato paste. So for tomato paste, but the best thing is that you should cook it um, for medium to, medium heat is perfectly good. And then all the flavors come out. And that's what you want for tomato paste. Never add anything to it until it's caramelized and cooked first. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So all, it's looking really good. It's giving us really nice color, red color that I was looking for. And now I have chicken breast, boneless, skinless, cube size. Um, chicken is in. So I'm gonna cook for three to four minutes first and before I add my coconut milk to it. Medium heat is good. And now for coconut milk, any kind of coconut milk is really good. Some people try low-fat coconut milk. I don't like low-fat coconut milk. It doesn't even taste good. I don't know what they take out of it to make it low-fat. I like really nice, good coconut milk. So that's gonna go in, a cup of that. and turn the heat to low. And that mix all the spices, the coconut milk and the tomato paste and the spices are mixing really nicely. The color looks beautiful. And this is my uh, son who's seven year old, his favorite dish. And my daughter who's 17, teenager, hard to please them, is her favorite as well. When her, uh, uh, sometimes her friends come over to, um, for sleepover and they always ask for this recipe. So when her friends are like, they all sit around and I'm cooking them coconut milk, my chicken, they absolutely love it. So this is really good, I'm gonna let it sit. And let's check on our paneer that we were making earlier. So I'm just let it cook on medium heat, medium to low heat. So for paneer, down. This is honestly like a magic. Every time I do this and show this to my uh, friends, they just go in awe. So here's our paneer. Look at this. Right here. So easy to make. And now I'm just gonna put this in a plate, cube it and pan fry it, and then we'll have this texture, beautiful, beautiful cheese ready. And look at these pieces, perfectly formed cheese, ready in less than even 15 minutes. And now to pan fry it, I like to use non-stick pan because I don't want it to be sticking to my uh, pan. So here, let's move this chicken here. It's smelling really good. So here for medium to high heat, add some oil. Again, I like grapeseed oil. You can use any oil that you already have in your kitchen. So just a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick to my pan. So here my oil is hot, so medium heat. So add this gently to the oil. And for 10, 15 seconds. See, that's what my cooking is. Everything is 10, 15 seconds or 10, 15 minutes, I love it. And the flavors will be just absolutely to die for. So as soon as the paneer turns golden brown, like I have it already here, it's less than two seconds. And, and that's what I need to do from all sides. Let's get golden brown. So here's this paneer ready. And sometimes for um, salad, I just have org um, organic greens, throw a few of these with basil and some salt and pepper. Great, great salad. And I can use the same oil to make our bean dish. So here is this. Such, so beautiful, lovely, lovely colors. So easy, easy, easy. And for bean dish, I'll be using garlic. I love garlic. Again, the flavor is really nice and has amazing health benefits. So some garlic and mustard seeds. I'll be using some mustard seed for a recipe. Garam masala, flakes are done. We're done with this. 
And so this bean dish is so ready and quick and easy to make. And for that, we need some oil in the pan. We already have it. Perfect. I love recycling oil. Uh, so here, some garlic on medium heat. I'm going to add some my mustard seeds and some garam masala. Garam masala is a bunch of spices cooked together and a little bit of salt and have some fresh tomatoes. I love tomatoes. So for this recipe, it's bean with paneer and fresh tomato sauce. So these tomatoes are going to give us a really nice sauce. I'm going to quickly rinse these guys. While I'm here, I'll grab my beans. So here we have our tomatoes. This is looking really nice. Just going to stir it. This is on medium heat. Nicely, the garlic has been caramelized with the spices. Very good, very good. So I'm going to add these tomatoes in. Add one more. And if you don't like tomatoes, um, if you don't like uh, thick tomato chunks in your mouth when you're eating, you can have tomato sauce. Canned tomato sauce is perfectly fine. It'll give you really nice, creamy kind of sauce because it's, all the tomatoes are pouring. So that's perfectly fine. My house smells so good. When kids are gonna come home from school, they're gonna wonder if I had a party happening in my place. Um, because the smelling just so nice. So I'm just mixing the tomatoes. Bring the heat to medium. And let the tomatoes cook for a few minutes, minute or two. And here I have beans. This is beans and carrots came together and I like it. I'm like, sure. The recipe asks for beans, but carrots are fine. So here I have beans. So I'm going to throw some beans in. Look at these colors. Look absolutely amazing. So beans don't take, it doesn't take that long to cook beans. So maybe four or five minutes. So our chicken is ready. How simple is that? And nice, nice. You can, now you can serve this with rice. You can serve this with the quinoa. I love quinoa. That's my new thing. Um, or you can just serve it with beans. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So beans are looking really nice and crispy. They're ready, the flavors, the colors, everything is just looking very, very lovely. It smells so good. And now our paneer, the cheese we just made. The cheese is gonna go in. Now paneer is in, it's all nicely mixed up. And look at these colors with the white and green and red and orangey, this gold color, very nice. So this is ready to plate. So let me get a nicer plate, cleaner plate. Hmm. I'm gonna turn the heat off on both. Not only cooking, Food is an art. Plating is an art. I didn't know this kind of stuff when I was in the village. In the village, we just put everything in a rotis and we just crumbled it and ate it. I come to North America, everyone is talking about, this is how you plate it, this is how it's supposed to look nice. I'm like, ah, just eat it. That's how I go. But when I was doing uh, photography for my cookbook, I learned all those tricks. It's so important to plate it very nicely. So I'm trying to do a good job here. So all those beans are in one direction. Coming from a village woman, trust me, this is really good. 
and here, this heavenly, heavenly food. I'm going to put a few pieces right on top. I'm going to have take a little bit of sauce, sprinkle all around it, make it look also fancy. And this is fancy and good and quick and healthy. You cannot go wrong. That combination is very rare, trust me. So here we are.